Tuloy-tuloy lang, sir, no? Sabahin dyan ito. Hanap natin dyan. Anitor daw. Ay, ito. Kahit Sabi may ganit ay nata Oy! Alam ganon! Ah, uh, ito da Gusto mo lang makita eh Ito <laughs> joke Basically, wala tayo webcam. Kasi hindi tayo naligo. O tayo ewan. Malamig kasi. Pero yes, tuloy natin yung... Pro-utos yung mga tao eh. Anong ginagawa? Utosan yung karakter. Okay. Para tayo dito eh Rand Boy. Papaglakad nga. Tayo lang eh. Good evening po sa atin lahat. Wala po ilan kayo, meron pa pero good evening. Tayo sa principal. The Prince What's up? Good team, mga sir, mga ma, mga sir. Ayan. Wala tayong camera na naman dahil wala naman tayong lead. Para ganun yung ano eh. Walang camera, walang lead. Okay, nakasara abad na. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yung pala, nabigay ng pala. But ah, saan? Ah, saan where? NG. Let's go to the Bonding point pala, isa lang Mag-bonding tayo kay Ate Molora Over Tapos sa skimming, asan? Ito ako sabi ko Up our room. Kita. Kama ba wala tayo pumunta sa locker room ng hall. Pa dito.
Hindi ko alam kung matatapos natin ito by the week, pero sa dami ng ano, ewan ko. Mahawa na so. Sana tayong bonding. Turn to door. Ayaw. Happen. Ah, okay. Gets ko. Tatori pala yun. Muna tayo. Akalin mo saan ko eh. Following save files. Oh, you're headed back to Rin? Yeah. You all on your way back then? Section nilan. Walo lang ay. Ano sila? Papal. Ham lang sila. Pilipina sing. Ang section. Ah yeah, I'm feeling. I figured it was about time to return to the dorms too. To be honest, I was hoping to get some more studying in, but since everyone else was going back... <laughs> Good old peer pressure. Oh, aren't Laura and Fee with you? I'm afraid not. We looked for them, but they were nowhere to be found. <laughs> They're old enough to find their own way back. I guess you're right, but it's a shame we couldn't all go back together. Green? Huh? Isn't that uniform... Police? When did you... Ah, minsan may lumalabas na gano'ng subtitle, Is pero mali-mali yung subtitle. The one and only. Well, what are you doing here, Elise? And this late in the day, too. Look deep in your heart and you'll find your answer. What? It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Rain's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while? Oh, kasi nagsasalita din ako eh. Takto lang eh. Halo-halo, taglish. It's been a while, huh? Must be six months since I saw you? Seven? Yeah. The last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. I'm sorry. I wanted to meet you out here too. It's just... I've been so busy lately. Besides, it's not easy to get permission to leave St. Astraea's campus, is it? That's entirely beside the point. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. I had 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. I'm sorry. I really am. I kept being hit with classwork, exams, field studies. But you're right. I probably could have made time if I'd made that a priority. It's just that... Yes? Well... It's just that when I saw you last year, you seemed kind of... distant. I thought maybe you'd started to find me a bother, so I figured it'd be best to just stay out of your way, I guess. I was never distant! Maybe it seemed that way because... well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. If something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me about it. It, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever! 
And I swear on Adios's name that I never will. Really? I'm happy to hear that. Alright then. I'm going to clear up some time to come to the capital and see you. Promise. And you're always welcome to come visit me here, too. Really? <clears throat> I'm glad to hear it. After growing up together, you're the last person I'd want to feel distant from. <laughs> you're right. So, is that what you came all the way out here to talk about? Seems a little overbearing just for that. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind. But that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? Should I? Oh, that's the last letter I sent to you, isn't it? Oh, did you come for the souvenir I got you on our trip to the Nord Highlands? I found this cute accessory there that I figured you'd like. You did? Wait, no, that's not why I came either. The issue here is the final part of your letter. It's possible that after I graduate, I'll join the army. Even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. I really want to repay Mom and Dad for all they've done for me, so I'd appreciate your help with that at some point. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Hope you're doing well. Ah, that. What did you mean by, even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live? Or by wanting to repay Mother and Father? You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family, are you, Reen? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I have no intention of becoming the head of the family or the next Baron Schwarzer. <gasps> What's so surprising about that? I was adopted. I wasn't born into a nobleman's life. The best thing would be for you to marry a good man and have him succeed Dad as Baron. be related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son. And the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under imperial law. Yeah, if the adopted child is of noble blood. At least that's how it's gone in most cases, and I'm not. Oh. What am I? Some abandoned kid that dad found buried in a blizzard 12 years ago. I couldn't even remember where I was from, or life before that. Just, and when he chose to take me in as his son, Dad became the hot topic of high society. People called him eccentric, crazy. Some of them even accused him of being unfaithful to Mom. One even asked him to his face if he intended to open wide the gates of the nobility to some low-born bastard. At some point, he got tired of dealing with all of it. He started to avoid leaving Ymir, and eventually he stopped showing his face at all among the nobility, except on rare occasions. I've caused a lot of trouble for our family, and I really don't want to cause any more than I already have. I doubt I'll be able to leave the Schwarzer name behind, but at the very least, I want you and Mom and Dad to have the respect you deserve with your peers. After all, you'll be 16 next year, making your debut into high society. <laughs> I know it might seem extreme to you, but try to understand how I feel. I'll still visit Ymir. It's not like I want to just walk out of your lives altogether. That's not it. I mean, Mom and Dad have always looked out for me, and that's a debt I'll never... You don't get it. What? You don't get it at all. You don't understand how Father feels. You don't understand how Mother feels. And you don't understand how I feel. Elise? <laughs> You're the worst! Why do you always have to be so stubborn? I hate you! I hate you! Elise? Well, what are you doing just standing there? What are you... 
Look, I'm sorry we might have overheard you, but that's beside the point right now. Don't just stand there. Go after her. She was crying. <sighs> I know this isn't a simple problem, but you can't just leave things like they are. She needs you. Indeed. You have a duty to her as family. Okay. I will. If you see her around, let her know I'm looking for her. We will. So get going. <laughs> You've got a slap or two coming when you do find her, I'd wager. Or anywhere. I need to start looking around the entire campus. Okay, na lang naghahanap ng tao yung karakter sa room. Oh boy! You're not ready. What am I going to do? I can't find her anywhere. Did she go back into town? It feels like she wouldn't have left the academy grounds, though. Yo, Reen, what's up? Bro? I'm just looking for someone. A classmate? Or did some second year sweetheart confess to you and you botched things up? Actually, it's my younger sister. She's not a student here, though. Oh, you have a sister? Honestly, I always kind of got that only child vibe from you. Well... I guess that must be who that girl I saw earlier was then. Long black hair, St. Astraya Academy uniform, tear-stained cheeks... 
That has to be her. Where did you last see her? She was talking with one of those Upper Crest boys in white, out on that path behind the school. That stuck-up first year... what's his name? High Arms, I think? Dear start acting, just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't... With him. He's the worst. Why does he never think about what would make him happy? Just be more honest with him and with myself. <gasps> huh? Where am I? Oh, who might you be? That's the uniform of Heimdall's Saint Astraea Girls School, if I'm not mistaken. What brings a lady like yourself all the way out here? I, I'm sorry, I... No, no, I... I wait... My name is Patrick. I'm sure you've heard... Hi... It's a pleasure to meet... I'm Elise Schwarzer. Ah, Elise. Such a lovely... Wait a second. Schwarzer? Yeah, Reen is my old. Ugh, why does she have. But wait, he was. A... It seems you're not on the best. I don't wish to cause you any unple. No, no, you. Wait! Th that way! You said you saw her behind the old schoolhouse. Which way did she go? Hmm. Come on. I'll show you where I saw Damn. Where could she have scurried off to? The old schoolhouse is usually locked, so I don't think she could have gone in there. Patrick! You... Where's Elise? You better not have tried to pick a fight with her and scared her off! I... I did no such thing. I just happened to see her crying, so I approached her to see what was wrong. Then, when she took off running this way, I, I followed her, out of gentlemanly concern. <sighs> Looks like she definitely came through here, though. You think she could have gone into that old schoolhouse you guys poke around in every month? Couldn't be. We locked it after we finished up in there earlier. Huh. Where am I? What is this place? The door was... Oh, 
道啊。What is this? It looks like some kind of machine. And yet... Where's that cat I saw earlier? I don't see anywhere it could have hidden itself. So it was an elevator. I must have descended pretty far underground. One step big. Elise, where are? Hmm, no sign of her. <sighs> Why do I have to? <coughs> Elise, you scream! It came from farther inside. It came from below. What is this place? Wow, this is what it looks like down here now? Going down, huh? All right then, Patty Cakes. Time to lock and load. D don't call me that! Mahawala yun ang buhok. Oh, 
った。Is he trying to suppress his power? <clears throat> no, I'm not going to be swallowed by it anymore. To try anyway. To take back myself. To take back what I lost that winter's day. <clears throat> what? You're not thinking of leaving me out of the action, are you? Take care of the girl, catastrophe. Don't call me that either. Thanks. I owe you one. No problem. Let's fire up those combat links. <laughs> Come at me. Carry on. My turn. Yeah, you're done. Let's keep moving. <sighs> I thought 
thought I'd finished my crash course in craziness half a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Krull. So you can use Arcus too? Yeah, I was part of the trial program for Class 7. That's how I met Toa, George, and Jellica. I see. Reen! Police! Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Uh, I'm fine. I just lost my balance when that tremor hit earlier. But thank you for protecting me. Just like you did back then. No, this time was different, wasn't it? I... Yeah, I pulled through. Somehow. <laughs> I'm glad. Here comes the cleanup crew. Reen, are you alright? Is your sister... Oh good, it looks like she's okay. What happened here? A giant suit of armor? It looks like something imbued with the magic of the Dark Ages. I can't begin to imagine what must have transpired here. Well, a tough fight did, at least. You're all here. <sighs> Good grief. <sighs> I'm so relieved you were able to find your sister and that everyone's okay. She's even more of a beauty than I'd imagined. Oh, I'd love to get some hands-on time with that door in this suit of armor. I swear, it's almost comforting how you guys never change. But hey, what took you, Instructor? Sorry about that. Still, it looks like you guys managed to handle things just fine without me. I take it this big lug came from inside that door? Yes, I was just looking at it when suddenly... Hold on. Let's just give our report starting from the top. Good evening, I'm your host Misty. You're listening to Radio Trista. It's July 18th and things are finally cooling down now at 9 p.m. So pour yourself a cold drink and let's roll right into tonight's Aubin Time, shall we? It's just over a week until Heimdall kicks off and I'm sure plenty of you out there might be thinking of but the festival is best known for its opening day event. This year, Crown Prince Cedric will be making an appearance at the ceremony in Heimdall Cathedral. And his sister, Princess Alfin, will be attending a posh garden party sponsored by Heimdall City Hall. I would have loved to see the Empire's two greatest treasures in person, but alas, I can't get away from work that day. But don't you worry, I'm still planning on winning. If you're not old enough to place a bet, don't worry, you'll be able to make questions. Moving along, I'm sure by now many of you have... It's supposed to be even taller than the Rheinford building in Ruhr, making it the continent's first true skyscraper. The latest reports say that construction is all... A lot of you have been writing in about it, so I'll be...
Don't you dare hold back! Don't worry, I won't. Go! can do this. Marcus, activate. Shatter! Right. Ha! Here we go! Do this. I was careless. My turn. It's my turn. My turn. Shatter. It's my turn. On. Fire! Go! Uh, my turn! <laughs> it's my turn! Hang in there! Thanks! Flames, gamble on my blade! Wasn't strong enough. That's the power of the eight leaves.
Lagi sila trip ni ano. <laughs> Your rank's gone up. Here's a little something from the academy. You did really well. Ayo. All right. This is our chance to discuss what to do before they get here. But to be honest, I don't really have any good ideas. How about you guys? I can't say that I do. Unlike me and Yusus, at least Laura and Fee understand each other to some degree. Our group's performance in last month's field study wasn't amazing, but there were no actual conflicts or anything. Yeah, that's all the more reason why I feel like we should step in and do something for them. But from what Elisa and Emma have told me, it seems like they have trouble connecting with each other. Yeah, that's the impression I get too. It's not like they hate each other, they're just having trouble coming to terms with their differences. On the one hand, we have the daughter of a noble military family. A knight in shining armor, as it were. While on the other, we have a girl who spent her childhood on the battlefield running with Jaegers. Their upbringings couldn't be more different when you think about it. Maybe their values, too. You're right. I wonder if that's... I apologize for the delay. Hey! Good morning, Laura! <coughs> um, <coughs> my, you're... You needn't worry about us. We have no intention of causing trouble. And we're prepared to do what we can to form a combat link as soon as possible. It's not our intention to be confrontational towards one another. Is that not the case, V? Yep. Don't worry. We won't bring the group down during the field study. Well, if you say so. Um, that's not really what we're worried about. Anyway, we should finish up our preparations and head over to the station. <laughs> I'll bet Group B is waiting there for us already. Agreed. Sana natin mag -asa. Ayusin
turn. <laughs> My turn. Here we go. Okay. na pinto na lang yung Armament Shop Opo nang walang lang Nakalagay. Okay. Pinagbabasa. My turn! Right! Here we go! My turn!
Then let us begin our duel. Please draw a card. Hm. Then I'll make the first move. Divine Bolt! Divine Bolt! <laughs> well played. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. The first move is yours. I didn't expect that. Divine Bolt! An excellent duel. Hello. Papa. Battle begin. We draw here, right? I'm first. Take this. Take this. Crap. We'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. Take this. Crap. Looks like I win. Talaga mo panalonan. Exactly on time. Huh? Wait, what? You're fed. You're from the Railway Military Police, if memory serves me correctly. You're Captain Claire, was it? That's right. I'm glad you remember me. I believe it's been about three months since we last met. Oh, this must be the woman that. So this is an officer from the fearsome RMP? Um, since you're here, does that mean you're going to be the one assigning our tasks for this month's field study? No, I'm just here to provide a place for you to talk with the person who is. He should be here any moment now. Ah, here he comes. Perfect timing! No way! Atay ni Mafia. Dad? Huh. 
I've seen him in the Imperial Chronicle before. Governor Regnitz, one of the Reformists' most influential voices. So this is Machias' father. <laughs> this is the first time I've met most of you, so let me introduce myself. I'm Karl Regnitz, Machias' father. I'm the governor of Heimdall and head of the local government. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7.
tayo sila po. Ano or bal?
Ah, so, wala pa rin yung orb eh. Ilamo toto lang apat lang. Ublebahe niya, kaya mo nito. Ah, okay. Kahit wala na mam. Hirap i-render din. Oh, 
ko lang ako nung one ko. Pag...
turn. Right. natin. Okay na. Here's the statue of Emperor Dreykos. He strikes quite a stately pose. Weird to think he's the one who founded our academy.
Olhei. Ayan natin yung ibang quest sa pas naman Ah, isn't this... This is where they published the Imperial Chronicle News. Pabalik din po lang talaga tayo
Eh, ha detto qua. Bawal din dumaan sa iyo Thanks, thanks Bukas 